Ms. Artastic, and today we're going to draw some french fries. So grab something to draw with. Really what we're going to be using is something to draw with, uh, something that is red, and something that is yellow. And let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start off by drawing the box that the french fries are sitting in. So we're going to draw a curve and another curve and these are going to be the edges of the boxes and then we're going to swoop down and do a long u or curving shape so this is the top of the box and then now we're going to draw the sides of the box we're going to do two long sweeping parallel lines and if you want to add some different artist flavor, you can bend them in, you can do it straight, it's up to you and the character that is your box. Now I'm gonna add two little corners and then kind of bring it up so that way it's kind of like little feet on my um, french fry box here. And then I'm just gonna go over these lines a second time to thicken them up and darken them because I'm using a marker but I want a bold line so that way the viewer's eye is drawn towards my work. So I'm going to go back over these lines again. Being mindful that I'm trying to clean them up and thicken them up. So whatever you're using, you can do the exact same thing. So if you're using pencil to draw with, you can go back over the line with pencil or if you're using just a normal felt marker, you can go back over the line with your normal felt marker. Whatever it is, do it twice and just thicken it up. Okay, so now that it looks nice and stark and bright, I'm ready to add my fries. So we're gonna do nice big fries that are kind of silly first, and then we're gonna do um, fries that are kind of in behind there. So I'm gonna do nice tall fries. They can go out at different angles. I mean, if you think about it, french fries, when they come in a box, they're not just standing all perfectly straight up and down, right? Sometimes they're hanging out. You might have one that's bent or broken. So draw your tall fries and some that are gonna be um, at the top there. And then we're going to draw some that are smaller in between here and there. There is no right or wrong way to draw french fries. And then we're also going to draw some that are hidden behind other fries. And we're gonna have some overlapping and this overlapping is going to create the um, sense of depth in our artwork, which is the element of art space. So overlapping is one technique that artists use to create the feeling that something is farther or in the distance, right? Because now this guy's going to feel like he's closer to the per to the viewer than this guy because he's in behind and just peeking out. So, and I'm also going to make the guys in behind smaller than the front ones. So that way it really feels like it's in the background, which is an illusion, right? Because it's really not, it's all flat. So that's the fun thing about art. You can trick your viewer's eyes into thinking there is space or depth when there really is not, because this is flat. Whoa, look at all those fries. I'm so hungry now, mmm. Okay, next we gotta make a crazy face for our french fry. I'm gonna give him some cool looking eyebrows here. And I'm gonna draw two circles for its eyes. It could be a him, her, whatever gender identity you want your fries to be. That's your choice. All right, so two eyes, I got my eyebrows. He's pretty wonky and crazy today. Maybe he had a really short nap and now he's just overtired. Maybe I'm gonna draw the pupils slightly different sized as well. So we're gonna draw two circles for the pupils and I've intentionally made one bigger than the other. And now, one more circle. And 
Boom! Color in those pupils. Just like that. Okay. Now we gotta give him a mouth. I'm gonna give him a wavy mouth to upper lip first. And then I'm gonna put a little arrow or a V shape in the corners of each mouth. Draw a wide U shape for the bottom of the mouth. And now we're going to draw what's looking like the letter M, but keeping one that connects. So I go curve up, around, and then I start here, and then up, around, and connect. All right, let's color in the mouth. Okay, so now that we got our base drawing done, we're gonna add some lines to create a little bit of expression and texture. So we're gonna go around the edge here and we're just gonna add a border. We're gonna add some details and expressive lines around the eyes and the mouth, just like that. Add a couple of lines in between there. And look already, it's just bringing this whole little box of fries to life. We're also gonna add some lines here and there on the french fries especially the ones in the front. And it's just gonna add some texture to our fries so they don't look so rectangular, you know? Right now they're just kind of sitting there all rectangular and we wanna get rid of that. We just wanna liven them up a bit. So we're gonna add some expressive lines. Great success. Okay, we're a lot more expressive now. Already you can see that added detail really brings um, the viewer's eyes to your artwork. And now, my friends, we are ready to color. Okay, so I'm gonna start off and I'm gonna take my felt marker and I'm gonna quickly color my french fry box with red. I'm gonna color that tongue pink only because his body is red. So I just wanna change it up a little bit. I'm gonna take a light blue felt marker and just go around the eyes a little bit. Hey, okay, just like that. And then yellow. So I'm gonna take my yellow, move that guy over there, and we're gonna do the french fries. So. Give these guys a little color here. My french fries are looking fabulous. Um, we're gonna do orange in the box, inside part of the box here, real quick. And now we are ready to add highlights and shadows with pencil crayon. Okay, so we're gonna use our white pencil crayon to add highlights. I'm gonna do that last and then we're gonna use black for shadows. So first I'll take my black and I'm just barely, barely touching the paper. And I'm gonna go and add some shadows 
to my artwork. So first I'm gonna go around the eyes. This is gonna create some depth and add value to my work. And it's gonna bring a lot of visual interest to the eyes through adding some contrast. I'm also going to go around the mouth. You can add some shadows to the sides of the box. Definitely going to sh shade over that orange so it'll be a darker orange because it's the inside of the box. Can add a little bit of shading to the tongue and then you can add some shadows to any of the fries that are kind of like overlapping. So just along the overlapping parts, I'm just going to give a quick shadow. I'm not being super careful, I'm just adding shadows where things overlap so along their edges really is what I'm doing. And that's just gonna help create a sense of depth. I don't want really dark looking fries. That's not very appetizing. Unless of course you want a very dark looking picture. Then indeed, shade away. But I still wanna eat these fries. So I'm not gonna go crazy town. I am gonna put quite a bit of dark at the bottom here because it is where the fries go into the box. I want them to pop. Okay. Now that I'm done with the shadows, I'm gonna add some highlights real quick. So I'm gonna add some highlights along the top of the mouth, on the top of the tongue here, inside my eyeballs. Along the top of my french fry box. And I can even add it to the tops of the fries. So just the tops, I'm gonna give them a little bit of a highlight so they stand out. And my friends, we are done our French fry box. Artastic Nation, that's the end of this episode. Tune in every Tuesday evening for the premiere of the next episode and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. For more art tutorials, visit my blog at MsArtastic.com. Teachers, Find my creative, high-quality art resources in my TPT store, Ms. Artastic. Finally, you can receive free art worksheets for kids by joining my newsletter by simply clicking the first link in my video description. All links are available in the description of this video. See you next time.